It's the most common problem in golf. Almost everyone struggles with it. Neil Reedy, the head pro at Cobblestone Creek Country Club, is here with a fix. It's our Western New York PGA Tip of the Week. The predominant miss for most players is a slice. So for a right-handed player, a ball that curves to the right. So the slice for most players is caused by that open club face. Uh, as they come into the ball, the club face is open. So in your swing, you have two releases. Uh, the most common one we talk about is the body release. So as you swing through, uh, your hips rotate, your core rotates, body rotates through, and that'd be your first release. The second release is the hand and arm release. So if we're trying to get the club face to start square, and go back to square at impact, the right hand needs to cross over the left. The forearms need to rotate. And that closes the club face, squares it up, uh, so the ball will fly straighter. We want to make sure our grip is stronger. So if you have your top hand, we want to be able to see your logo, see a couple knuckles in your left hand again for our right-handed player. On a scale of 0 to 10, like 0, I'm barely holding on. And 10 is I'm you know, really gripping it hard. I'm about a 2 in my grip. So my hands are super, super soft on the club. So if you're tight, you can't turn your arms. It's going to get you in this position. Players that are slicers that tend to hold off, you almost have to feel flippy to make it be a normal release. So if you video yourself and you see yourself in this position, uh, if you can move yourself to here, that's a huge success. And it'll change how you play golf, I promise. It really will.